Hello everyone! Yay! Hello and welcome to another game. Look, I've got some more guests with me this time, not just Alice and Janetta, but we've got Kirsty and Charlotte and Elephant Class, give us a wave! Woo! And I've got this lot as well. I'm not going to go through their names because <laughs> you probably know them already. But anyway, we are going to play a lovely, fun maths game with you today and we're going to play Shape Bingo. Now to play Shape Bingo, you will need something to write on. We've got some whiteboards. Uh, you might have some paper. You'll need a pen. And then you'll need some shapes. Now you could draw your own shapes and cut them out on little bits of card. Maybe you've got some shapes that you can uh, play with from home anyway. You just need some names of some shapes. So we're going to be thinking about 2D shapes today. Now, 2D shapes are, the D stands for dimensional. So that's two-dimensional shapes. Usually, we think about them being called flat shapes. So I've got some flat shapes here. Maybe you know this one. This is a flat shape. It's got four sides. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera. There it is. It's got four sides. It's got four corners. We call it a... Square, of course, we call it a square. So I've got lots of shapes like that. I've got square. I have, uh, this is a rhombus, or sometimes we call it a diamond. We have a parallel, another, sorry, not a parallelogram, a trapezium. A trapezium, that one. This is a parallelogram. Four sides again. And we have a six-sided shape. A hexagon, we have a semicircle, I've got a triangle with three sides, a pentagon, five-sided shape, got a rectangle, also known as an oblong, four sides, and can't pick it up, but I have got a circle, only one side to a circle, one curved side, and then another shape with one curved side is an oval. So I'm gonna put these in a bag and what everyone else needs to do is on your whiteboard or on your piece of paper, you need to draw two vertical lines, one, two, and two horizontal lines, one, two. And that will give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares or nine areas on your grid. And you need to put a shape in each area, a different shape in each area. You could draw them like a triangle like that, or you could write them. You could write the word circle. Okay, so you can either draw them or you can write them. And then when you've got all nine, areas filled up, you are ready to play. Is everyone ready to play? Yay! Is everyone really excited? Yay! Yay! Excellent. So, when I pull out a shape, you can cross it off with your pen. So, the first shape, oh, what's it going to be? The first the shape. Thing. Oh, I think, good question, Nikki. We'll go, first of all, for a row or a column. All right, so three in a row would be the first one. All right, the first shape. I'm gonna get a bit closer. Here we go. The first shape has one, two, three, four, five sides, five corners. This is called a pentagon. If you've got a pentagon, cross it off. Who had a pentagon? Yes, oh, oh look, everyone had a pentagon. Very good, right, next one. Next one out of it is, oh, here we go. Here's our shape, it's got one side. Looks a bit like a squashed circle. Janetta says she hasn't got it. It is an oval. Cross it off if you've got it. Here we go, next one. Oh, oh, bit of an unusual shape, this one. It's got two sides. One side is straight and one side is curved. Looks a bit like the sun rising up in the morning but it is actually a semicircle. Anyone close to uh, having a row or a column yet? Oh, there's some excitement building. Right, next one. Okay, we've got three sides. 
three-sided shape, a triangle. This is, oh, oh, Charlotte was first. Charlotte, can you tell us what three shapes have you got? Triangle, oval, and semicircle. Wow, triangle, oval, and semicircle. Let's give Charlotte a clap. Well done, Charlotte. Oh, Jeanette, you, did you have bingo as well? Yeah, I was just waiting for you to finish finish talking, though. Jeanette, you snooze, you lose. I'm afraid that's the way it goes. So I was saying this triangle, a very special type of triangle, where all the sides are the same length, so we call it an equilateral. Really hard word to say that, an equilateral triangle. There we go. Right, let's carry on. Uh, we're going to go for the whole board now, full house. Four sides, four corners. They're all right angles on this shape. All the same size, all the uh, sides are the same length. It is a square. Next one. One side on this shape. One side on this shape curved side, it is a circle. Next one. Da, da, da. Oh, six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six corners. Sometimes we call the corners angles. Six of them. Hexagon. Hexagon, six sides. Next one. Oh. Four sides, a bit of a strange shape, this one. Sometimes people call it a diamond. You put it around like that. Really, the mathematical name is a rhombus. All the sides are the same length. And the opposite corners, this one and this one, and this one and this one, the angles are the same. Or people sometimes call it a squashed square. Imagine if I sat on a square. That's a bit what it would uh, look like afterwards. A rhombus. Okay, next one. Okay, we have a trapezium. A four-sided shape. There is excitement building in giraffe class. A trapezium, four sides. The top and the bottom are parallel with each other. They're running in the same direction. And these two sides are not parallel. Right, next one is... Sometimes people call it a squashed rectangle. Actually, it's a parallelogram. Four sides, a parallelogram. Anyone got a full house yet? Not yet. Oh, I think it might be about to go crazy. Because I've only got one shape left. And it is a rectangle. <laughs> Lots of excitement. We got there first. I'm not going to try and decide the winner out of that. Definitely not. <laughs> More than my life's worth. So uh, that's how you can play 2D shape bingo. Of course, you could play 3D shape bingo. If you had some 3D shapes, you could talk about cubes and cylinders and pyramids and shapes like that. You can have numbers. You can have colours. Lots of different ways uh, that you can play bingo that would help your maths. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, everyone. It's goodbye from these guys, Yay! and from Elephants, and from Janetta on her own in Squirrel Class, and we will see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.